Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we would be learning the chaining concept of the APIs in the Postman. So let's begin. Chaining of the APIs means that you would be extracting a value from one API and you would be passing that value to the other APIs. This will help you to eliminate the manual effort while handling with the dynamic values, which especially needs to be referred to the other APIs. This will also help you to automate your API collections. Now let's take a real time example to understand this concept in more detail. Assume that you are working on a project and that particular project has two APIs. The first one is the login API and the second one is the update profile API. The update profile API actually update the user details. Now the question arises here is that how would this update profile API will know which user needs to be updated? Okay. So uh, in the real time, what happens is that we need to execute the login API first, which will provide us a token. Okay. This token tells us that this particular user is authenticated and has a unique value. Okay. So we need to pass this token. Okay. To this particular API. Now open the postman so that we can see it practically. Before writing the scripts and the API request in the postman, first let's understand the scenario which we will be executing here and the steps for that particular scenario. Okay. So what we need to do is that we need to use a create passenger API, which will create a new passenger. And once the new passenger has been created, this particular API will return a unique ID for this particular passenger. What we need to do is that we will be extracting that unique ID and passing that unique ID to get the user details. Okay. So steps for this particular scenario would be, we would be heading the create passenger API. Okay. We will get the complete body response from that. We would be extracting a value from this particular response body and save that value to a variable. Okay. Once we have saved that value in the variable, we will pass that variable to set our environment variable. Okay. So once the variable has been set, we can call that variable into the other APIs. Now open the browser. Okay. And type instant web tools.net. From this website, we will be getting the create passenger API details. Click on fake API, click on rest API and scroll down here. You will see a create passenger here. Okay. Copy the URL from here. Go back to the postman. Create a new request. Change the method to the post. Click on body. Click on raw. Change it to JSON. Now go back to the website. And uh, what we need is that we need a body for this particular post API. Just click on this one. Copy the body here. Go back to the postman. Paste the body here and click on send. So here you can see that it generated a unique ID here. Okay. Now let's click send once again. Okay. Now you can see that it's generating a unique ID whenever we create a new user. So what we will do is that we will be extracting this value. Okay. And passing to the get passenger API to get the details of this particular user. Okay. Now go back to the documentation and look for the get passenger API. So this is the API. Okay. Copy the URL here. Go back to the postman, click new request. And here you can see that after slash passenger slash, we have written a one here. Here one is basically a ID of that particular user. So what we will be doing is that we would be extracting a value from here. Okay. And passing value here. Okay. So click on test. Okay. So first what we need to do is that we would be getting the whole response. Okay. So I would be using a snippet from here and that snippet is to check the JSON value. Okay. So I don't need to create a test here right now. I'm removing this function from here and also the expect as well. Okay. So what happens is that this particular line 
gives us the whole this response body okay this response body okay and save it to the json data okay so now what we need to do is that we need to traverse to this id okay but before that what i need to do is that i need to create a variable so that i can save that value in that particular variable so write variable i'm giving a name it as new user okay so what we need to do is that we need json data dot underscore id that's it so what happens is that this json data dot underscore id will give us this id okay now let's set a environment variable here so pm dot environment dot set and this will take two arguments here okay first we need to give a name for this variable okay so i am giving it as a user id okay and i need to pass this variable okay because now this variable new user has this id okay so i'm copying this one from here and passing it here okay now just click on the i button here we don't have any new user environment variable here okay just click on send here just go back to the i button here you see a user id okay which we have defined here and a value for it and if you see that this is a value same as this one okay just click a send once again okay and just click on i button and you can see we are getting this id so we have successfully extracted this value from here and set it as a environment variable okay now what i need to do is that i need to pass this variable into this api so this is very simple just give a curly braces okay and provide this variable okay and here okay and just click send okay you can see that this id is same as this one okay so this is how you can extract a value from one api and pass that to other apis in order to make a complete chain or in order to automate your apis in the postman that's all about the chaining request in the postman. See you in the next lecture.